looked in the mirror. I don't mean a physical mirror, you know, how you see how you're looking, your hair, but I mean that mirror within your heart, your soul, what you stand for. Today, I stand in front of you as Stars Tina, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, welcome. Today, I wanna to tell you a little bit about myself, introduce myself to you, but the only way I can do that is by telling you what I stand for, my personal brand. I personally believe what you do, who you do, how you do, you, when you do it, it's all the same. So for me, it goes deep down into my soul, and I like to say mindset. I am so focused, I am so driven when it comes to mindset because it controls everything. Someone asked me yesterday, she said, when is the last time you did not work out? Because I'm working out every day, push up, you name it, I run an online fitness boutique studio and I can stand here and I can tell you, I'm a fitness professional, I'm a coach, I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm an auntie, I can say all that stuff. But does it really tell you who I am, what I stand for? So when it comes to mindset, mindset controls everything. And as I was saying, the other day I was having a very, very rough day and I didn't exercise at all. And to be honest with you, I was stuck. And I knew I could get myself unstuck because I am the traumedy person, right? The traumedy queen. Traumedy is when the energies of a trauma and a tragedy collide. When these two energies come together, life changing experiences occur. So this day, I was not having a good day. And there's two ways of how you can face an obstacle. One way is you can go negative by drinking alcohol, having wild sex, drugs, you know, all down that path, but that's not too healthy. And then you have that other path where you can meditate, yoga, journal, you know, all that great stuff. But this day I was stuck and I was a little bit stubborn. I was just like, I don't wanna feel anything, I wanna feel amazing. So I did go down that path road, and if you know me, I don't, I don't corral too much, I'm not partying and drinking, so I did have some drinks and it put me down that downward spiral of feelings. And then the next day when I got up, I was like, okay, let's do a mindset check, let's reset, and I went way over to the left for me for my mindset, and I decided to do a 21-day meditation challenge. So for me, mindset is important when it comes to controlling what you wanna do, whether it's finances, relationships, whatever. So that's the first thing when I think of myself, of who I am, is my strength and my mindset. The second one is heart set. Think of Michael Jordan, think of Kobe, yes! You have to have that heart, that's what's gonna push you to get up in the morning. When I had to train for my full marathon, which is 26.234, I don't know, miles, some days I had to get up at three o'clock in the morning to start running. So that heart set, that's what's gonna set you apart from other people. That's what's gonna make you stronger. And I think it's so important that you get uncomfortable. You gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable, right? That's where the major change is gonna occur. So for me, heart set is super important. That is who I am, I'm full of heart, full of love. Every day I'm just like loving life. Okay, I'm not feeling that way all the time, I'm gonna be honest. But my goal is to just spread love, spread life like the clouds in the sky, like the water in the ocean. I am love. Mindset, heart set, nutrition what you eat, who are you? When you're looking in that mirror, do you know what you want to look like? What you wanna feel like? If you wanna be healthy, you gotta eat clean. 80% of the way you look is by what you eat. Garbage in, garbage out. You can't outwork a bad diet. And the fourth pillar of who I am is exercise, movement. I love moving. Let me tell you, I started this morning with my class at six and then it just kept getting better and better and better. And I didn't get to go for a run yet, but I can't wait because when I'm moving, I am in motion. A body in motion tends to stay in motion, right? So if you're that person, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Get up and move your body. Ah, ah. Play some good music and move. So I am movement, I am vibration. When I walk into a room, I am changing the energy. So movement is so important. Your vibe is your tribe. Who are you surrounding yourself with? All right, time for now. And the last thing of who I am, Traumedy. I make traumedy look good. Trauma, tragedies. God has gifted me with the ability to have so much crap thrown on me, but then I come out with roses and sunshine and berries. Now, when you put all these five things together, mindset, heartset, nutrition, exercise, and traumedy, you will get 
a mind, body, and soul awakening. Woo! Let me tell you, this is a journey. It's life, right? You have your ups, you have your downs, ups and downs, and maybe it's a little flat every now and again, but do you truly want to have that mind, body, soul awakening? That's what I am. That's who I am. That is my gift that I want to share with you today. Just remember, I am Stars Tina. When you think of that, people ask me all the time, well, how'd you come up with that name? Well, stars in the sky, right? They shine bright when it's dark. So you have to go through the darkness. You have to go through the pain. You got to push through. If God put it on you, the trauma, the tragedy, the crap, guess what? He gave you the strength. He gave you the power to push through and succeed. So remember that. You shine bright when it's darkest, right? So for me, reach for the moon. And if you fall, you're still amongst the stars. We are all stars. Did you know that God gave you a special gift a unique gift. Think right now, right now, right in the chat, wherever you're watching this, I want you to write down that one thing you can do with effortless ease. That one thing, when you do it, it fuels your heart. Think about the movie Sister Act. Remember when she said, if you wake up in the morning and you want to sing, you're a singer. Ha! Okay, I'm not going to sing for you. But anyway, <laughs> what is that one thing you're passionate about? Find what you're passionate about, turn it into a purpose, and then change the world. That is why you are here. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have one little tiny gem. If you got one gem from me today, do me a favor. Share it out. Tell someone. Change the world. Thank you very much. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster. Peace.